Tonight, they take on the Blackhawks in Chicago. Never easy. Noisy Chicago Stadium, which rocks early and often when Ed Belfort, Chris Chelios, and the Hawks' defense turn back the scoring bid, or when Jeremy Roenick and the Hawks' offense create one. We're on the road again. Chicago Stadium, the Bruins and the Blackhawks, and it's live on Message. Indeed, no question, the noisiest stadium in the NHL's in Chicago, where Fred Cusick, Derek Sanderson, and Dave Shea have the call this one on Nesson. All right, Tommy, thank you. Not much has changed in regards to these two hockey clubs since the last time they met back in October. The Blackhawks and Bruins both among the elite in the National Hockey League. The Blackhawks still a stingy hockey club when it comes to giving up goals. And goaltender Ed Belfour, who stood on his head in the garden, still making it tough to get the puck by him. He's among the league leaders with a 2.59 goals against average. For the Bruins, if they have any kind of advantage tonight, it's the fact that the Blackhawks haven't played in a week. This will be their first game since the All-Star break. So they're their timing should be off a little bit early in terms of game timing, and maybe that's an area where the Bruins might be able to explore a little bit, but it's going to be tough. The Blackhawks, not a real fast team, but they're a rugged team, and in this small Chicago stadium, it's their kind of building. For a closer look at this one, let's go upstairs right now with Fred and Derek. Thank you, Dave, and Adam Oates has played a lot in this building when he played, of course, for uh, St. Louis coming in here. Now, he's in that race with Pat LaFontaine, and LaFontaine had a big night last night and leads him by two points. Well, that's a it's a situation that's going to be night in, night and They're going to be at each other all year long. Both of them are very, very, uh, they complement each other. They're both the same type of player, very good with the puck. They have players that can put it in the net for them. So Oates and LaFontaine, I think, I believe, in a one-two run for the, for both the uh, most valuable player and the scoring race. We'll see how that goes. And nobody knows why Chris Chelios was traded by the Montreal Canadiens. Generally, if you're traded by Montreal, it may not be the end of your career, but uh, you're not going to be uh, an all-star, but Chris Chelios is. Chris Chelios certainly is. He's a heart, really, in, in the brains back behind the blue line for the, for the Chicago Blackhawks. That Belfort says he should, he should be also considered MVP. He's certainly in the hunt for the Norris Trophy. Chelios is one of those players that Montreal missed this trade. I think that really belongs. He was a, he was a Canadian, and now he's a Blackhawk, and he's thrilled to be here. He's a tough player. He's a lot dirtier and meaner than most people think he is, but he's a solid game and great offensive skills. And uh, watching Chelios on the Chicago Blackhawks and uh, other games, picking him up on table, I noticed he play, puts an awful lot of ice time in. He does. I mean, he gets a lot of ice time. He plays, plays a physical game, too, but he also knows when to sit in the rocking chair and let the game take care of itself. Chelios has become a master of handling the situation. Read the game as it is. He does, he's not going to go out and try to get a, a, a ton of points. He's got 53 points, but if he's ahead, he plays a good, sound, cool game. He just gets it up, gets it out. Uh, he gets involved when the, when the Blackhawks are behind much more so if they're well in front. We'll have the opening face-off in just a moment. Go Stadium in particular. Glad to have you on board tonight as the Bruins and the Blackhawks, one of the more storied rivalries in the National Hockey League. Renew acquaintances tonight. And the Bruins would like to get the same kind of effort, Derek, uh, on Eddie Belfour. They got back in the Boston Garden. They absolutely peppered Belfour that night, back in October. Just couldn't put the puck by him, that's all. You know, you mentioned in the, in the pregame that Blackhawks have not played in a while. A little rusty, what they have one way to get that rust out of the system is to go out and bang. Chicago, believe in this small building, are going to try to take it to the Bruins, go to the end zone, hit as hard and as often as you can. I would be very surprised if that man right there, Daryl Sutter, did not have them playing an extremely physical game. Get yourself in the game, get involved, get the hit in, get it out of the way, get yourself feeling comfortable about this game because that Bruins just controlled that game against the Blackhawks in the Garden. His brother Brian wants that situation again, whether they're Going to do it or not remains to be seen. You always set out to do it. Let's just see what happens. Well, the Bruins are ready to duplicate what they did at St. Louis Tuesday night, and that was playing a near-perfect hockey game. The Blackhawks are at the front end of a three-game stretch where they have three very big games. Boston, at Pittsburgh, and Detroit here Sunday night. 
their inter, inter division rivals. They would like to set the tempo for this three game series right here in the opening period. So sit back and get ready for what should be 60 minutes of intense hockey tonight here at Chicago Stadium. Well, the teams have taken their spots along the blue lines, and the officials are at center ice. That means it is time now for the playing and singing of our national anthem as it can only be done here at Chicago Stadium, Wayne Mester. Sabres. And it's into the Boston end. That's the checking line on against the Oaks line. Don Sweeney trying to move it around. And Leach and there's a good hit by Ray Bork. Gilbert trying to come off. The boys can't get it, but it's kept in now. Graham, Bork, and Bork just pulled him down and let it go. Puck near the net. Jammed up. Rolls in front. Shot was saved by Blue. Oh, a big chance there. And Schick let Ray Bork get away of it. Clean tackle on Dirk Graham. Ray Bork laid a good check, a good hit on Graham. I thought he got away with hitting from behind. Bruins going to be, they know they're going to be in a physical game, so Ray Bork leads the way with the hit. Here's the, now he's behind him. He knows Graham's got the, his back to him, kind of just pulled him down. This is when it gets dangerous. Right here, turn around. The Blues got the stick down, makes the save. Adam Oates did a pretty good job of tying up Christian Rutu's stick, too, Derek. Didn't allow him to get to the puck when he wanted to. And the draw now. Brent Sutter is on centering the line. The puck kept in by Brian Noonan. And indeed, Don Sweeney trying to move it around. And Chelios is way in, trying to center it from the corner. And it's blocked. It is kept in. And Brinson moves in front. And Blues ball saves. And it's jammed up. And Andre Bork took the body, and Beto got to the other side, came out behind him. No one picked him up. Everybody was paying a lot of attention to people in front of the net. You cannot allow him to come out of the corner like that. Once he gets loose, he's trying all he can. Tries, there's John Blue again, staying low to the ice. 
And that was Stefan Matto. He stays at left wings. Brent Sutter at center and Noonan on the right wing. So twice they've come close now. Chicago right off the bat and Blue had to make the saves. Hines checking the play and now Ray Bork in again. The puck is kept in and it's Noonan putting it in front. Just knocked away by Don Sweeney. Kept in by Chelios. And it's the Bruins that are rusty. Chelios trying to sneak it in front. Hines gets it and able to clear it out. All the way down to Balfour. And there was heavy pressure there by Chicago on the two so-called checking lines that would be out there. Here comes Matto again. Center ice. Long shot. Save blue. And Shaw clears it away. Chelios now to Roenick. Quick changes by Chicago. To Lamer, he's on the left wing side. The shot held on to by John Blue. He says, hey, let's slow it down. Four shots already by Chicago. Steve Larmer and the Chicago Blackhawks. Brian Sutter, talking with him earlier today, he was fully prepared for this. He knew that the Chicago Blackhawks would come out. He's told the hockey club in the first 10 minutes, Chicago is going to try to be all over you. They're going to definitely try to win the hockey game in the first 10 minutes. What you've got to do is stay in the hunt. Bruins put on no show for the first 20. Get it out as calmly and as quickly as they can. Move it to open people. Right now, Chicago all over them in this little building. Roenick there, and now Adam Oates on the faceoff. That line is back for Boston. Oates and Roenick. And it's back to the point for Marshman. Shot tip wide of John Blue, and Roenick got a piece of that. Juno trying to move it out, and Brown, the defenseman, moves way in and keeps it in. Wraps it around the board. Or trying the other side with Juno. Juno can't get it. Brown kept it in. Knocked away by Don Sweeney. Check. Bruins still gamely trying to get it out. Marshman, a big hit on Leach. And the puck. Now to Don Sweeney. Finally, the Bruins are able to get it somewhere near the Chicago line. And Oates is able to clear it in. But two minutes or more, all Chicago here, as they have five shots now. Ray Bork pinching in on Goulet. The puck is knocked away to center ice. Oates there. Oates able to flip it back in wide of Ed Belfort. Going for it, Dirk Graham. And around the boards at the left point, it rolls to center ice. Wesley. Fires it back in the Chicago zone as the teams are trying to organize. Changing up here. Graham, the captain, up for Gilbert on the left wing side. Driven to the corner. Blue behind the net, trying to backhand it out. Stopped by Gilbert. His pass broken up and a breakout here. Rizichka with Kabartola over the line. Kabartola trying to put it to the point man and can't make connections with Juno, but he's able to keep it in. Up for Juno in the corner. Juno puts it across in front. Wesley trying to drive it on. Wesley goes to the corner, and Kabartolov keeps it in. Pass is blocked, deflected out by Rutu. As the Bruins crank it up on the offense. Not a shot on yet. And the Hawks trying to come out. Play broken up by Roberts. Passed in front. Lock. Sarah gets it away. And in the center ice, and over the line comes Graham. Graham holds, moves, shoots, and scores! Graham! the off-wing side and drive a high one and it is one nothing Chicago that's an absolutely heads up play on the part of Graham he is Sutter as a screen Derek and even though he was off balance got off a good rising shot that John Blue had no chance on I think John Blue you're going to take a look he's going to be looking down low figuring the shot's going to come through Featherstone Featherstone's backing up because Sutter's driving to the net and he cuts left and just snaps it off. Good shot. John Blue kind of stumbles, right? It's out here, and then he goes down and just goes up over his arm. Nice shot by Graham. Graham, more a defensive player, makes a fine shot to make it 1-0. 1634 left here in the first period. Six shots, Chicago, zero Boston. Over the line now. Kimball walks in. Kimball is in. and Darren Gimbel. Jock in for position. Now trying to get a hand free. Now they're in a defensive mode now, both of them. They're going to look for a way. He went in an uppercut. This is where Lyndon Byers came up big. He had the uppercut. 
That's what you got to be careful of. Send the message right away. We'll challenge you. You want to challenge us? We'll go. Aaron Kimball. Rob done a great opportunity. Nice save, Belfour. Kimball showed some patience on this, too, Derek. He waited. Gets a break and a bouncing puck. Right there, Grimson missed it. Nice save, Belfour. Held the fort and just stayed his own. Right there, top of the crease. And that goal by Graham, the assists go to the two defensemen, Kravchuk and Kuchera. Kuchera is from Czechoslovakia, Prague, and Kravchuk from Russia, played for the Russian Olympic team. Kravchuk, a lot of talk around town. Kravchuk's going to Edmonton for Joe Murphy. That remains to be seen. They've been talking about that for some well, time. He's been out a long time. Just coming back, this is his first night back. Boston Bentley, number 29, Aaron Matching penalties, five minutes. Blackhawk Bentley, number 22, Drew Grimson, five minutes. We're fighting in the Boston Bentley, number 29. And around the boards, Bruins checking the play and able to keep it in. For a shot that went wide, now from the right side. A drive here by C.J. Young right on the save. And Young at the point, able to keep it in. Had Oates out there with Hughes and Young. Demuse starts back. The clear in. Rona trying to get it. Lou trying to clear it. Blocked in a hooking call against Boston. Interference is the call. And it is uh, the Bruins will be shorthanded. Hawks one, Bruins nothing. Back in a moment on this. Hawks interference on Jeremy Ronick. Bruins on the road. Penalty killing are 76%. That is not very good. 20th in the league. With Ray Bork in the box, he even makes it tough. What a big uh, break. Dave Poulin injured in that game the other night. Had to leave it, but he's okay. Did like a, look like a serious D injury. But not to be in a big break for the Boston Bruins the way Dave Poulin has been playing. Larmer able to keep it in. Now for Ronick. Back again. Bruins are in the box. Reading Poulin penalty killers. Ronick right near the net. Drops it in front. Backhanded by Smith. Missed the net. And around the boards. Chelios able to keep it in. Poulet. Ronick. Now to the other corner. Reed going for it, but it is back for Smith at the left point. Over to Chelios. Quick shot. Blocked and cleared by Poulin. Smith starts the play with Chelios. Smith and Chelios will play a lot. Put in a lot of ice time for Chicago. Chelios rushes. And to go it alone. He is broken up by Don Sweeney. Up for Reed and the clear. Bruins change up. One minute left on the power play. One nothing Chicago. 14:48 left first period. Center ice. The Bruins break it up. And a break here. Over the line comes Hines. Short handed. In. Save. Balfour. Two spectacular saves by Balfour as Hines went in short handed. Back comes Noonan. Check. Stopped by Darn Sweeney. To the corner. Sweeney knocks it around. Hines trying to get away now. In the corner. Still battling for it. Noonan digs it out. Back for a drive here. Save. Rebound. Noonan can't get the handle to it. Now does. Holding. Now gets it back for Kravchuk. Over to Keith Brown. Fed in deep. Brent Sutter back down in front. Noonan gets it in the corner. Pass up the boards. Chopped away. And the Bruins, Adam Oates, able to clear it with help from Hines. Ten seconds left on the power play. Keith Brown winding up. And Brown leads the charge to center ice. Over the line, it's Graham. Graham back for Kravchuk. For Brown, the shot saved by John Blue and a screen of players. The Bruins back at full strength. Bluen trying to dig it out. Graham hustles to the corner. He is hit on the play by Bork, but it's kept in for a screenshot here. Block. Bruins trying to clear it out. Cap. A drive, a save on Graham by John Blue. As Graham had him dead to rights again. Indeed, Wesley gets mixed up with Blue, but is able to finally clear it out. 
seven minutes into the first period. It is one nothing Chicago, and Lou has looked at nine shots. There have been three by Boston, and two of them clear-cut chances. And the Bruins with a break now over the line. Poulin still on, drops it for Shaw. Shaw moves it in, and Panaleo can't set it in front. On the boards, Panaleo with Ronick after him, and now Smith broken up. And Ronick starts it away. Larmer driving off the boards, bounces in front. Shaw there, takes a hit, and a penalty coming up on Chicago. It could be a Goulet going, and a power play for Boston. 1-0 the Hawks, 12.47 left here in the first period. Hey, Shaw Pierce Wolf. hurt on that slash. He took a shot right to the jaw down. Black on back lane number 16, Michelle Goulet. It was a bang-bang kind of play. I'm not so sure Michelle Goulet intended to get in high on him. Now we get a, we get a look at the breakaway, semi-breakaway, Rudy. Watch, nice move Steve Hines to get to this position. Right there, he was afraid of Smith's stick, so he took the option of going on his backhand. That gave Bell for the time to recover. He should have shot it. Easy to say now, but Smith was looking to poke check it into the stands. That was a tremendous effort just to be able to get to the puck and go in there to break it up at the blue line. It looked like he had been forced wide and wasn't going to be able to get to the puck, but he put out a little burst of speed and gave himself a chance. Power play Boston there first. Chicago 0 for 1. Wesley and Bork play the points. Wesley drives it in. Belfort blocks it. Moves it up the boards. And not out. Trapped by Wesley. The shot in the save. Belfort. And Larmer gets the rebound. Drives it all the way down. And John Blue, Brent Sutter moving in, but Bruins get control. Wesley now for Juno. Juno center ice with Leach over the line. Drops it for Oates. Oates passes blocked by Larmer and clear. You have to watch for Steve Larmer. Very good. Waits. Uh, Ray Bork. Can't set up Oates. Chelios has it. Up the boards, not out. Takes a weird hop. Oates gets it in front. Lead shot blocked by Chelios. Hops for Smith. Big play, Chelios. At the point. It is knocked away, and Graham breaks. Graham has Rutu. And Rutu can't put it on net. As they broke two on one. Well, Graham has been a big factor. He has the lone goal of the game. 11.40 left first period. 1-0 Chicago. Bruins power play. 48 seconds left. Keith Brown trying to chop it out. Gets control. Gets it off now for Marchman. And he is able to clear it. Dave Shaw starting. And his pass is stopped by Brown. Hammered back in. Wide of John Blue. Gilbert hit with it. Rizitska. 25 seconds left. Adam Oates for Rizitska. On the move. Coming hard. Barreling over the line. Trying to go through a ball. For. Bruins have had excellent chances. Not many, but that was right on on a setup. Rosicka to Bork. Marchmont in deep. Three Bruins there. They dig it. Oates with it. Oates gives it for Kabatala. He can't get it. Marchmont. There's it up. And that's it on the power play. Shots are nine. Chicago five. Boston Shaw back to flip it in wide. A bell for. 10.40 left in the first period. Fast moving game. Another stone at the Boston line. Starts it up for Kabartola. Driven in. Blocked by Balfour. Dirk Graham, the only score of the game. Kachara winding up to come out. And lose it in the center ice. Matto able to flip it in. Up and down it goes. Blue there. Rolls it around. Rolick. Kabartola throwing. Penalty coming on Boston. Feather stone. And delayed call as Chicago keeps it, loses it now. And Featherstone puts it there that just shot on Ronick. <laughs> but Featherstone is going. Oh, he speared Lemieux. Oh, boy. He's out of the game. Oh, that's a disaster by Featherstone. I don't know if he speared him. Uh, well, it's he, called by the linesman. Uh, you watch. Well, I, I know that. He went and ran into the end of his stick. Oh, I doubt it, Fred, but I don't think he... Intentional. This is a put the bullets. Well, we're not talking ball. intention or anything. We're right in front of a linesman. Yeah. He did it. He's yeah. out of the game, and the Brewers are going to be in deep trouble. Hawks lead one nothing. Back in a moment on Nesson. Brian Sutter. And his little set two there. Glenn Featherstone. Seven minutes. Five for spearing. Two for roughing. Game misconduct. These are the things that. Good hockey clubs respond to. It's very difficult. This Chicago, ton of enthusiasm. Haven't played in a week. 
Here's Lemieux going back of the net. All he's trying to do is force him off his goalkeeper. There's the rough. The glove in the face. A little bit of a slash there that he got away with. The infraction ended up when he pushed Jeremy Roenick at the blue line, turned around, Lemieux came in to say something, and he ran into the end of his stick. Oh. And he faked it. Now, there's no doubt in my mind. Lemieux Lemieux ran, ran into his stick. Yeah. <laughs> well, hey, that happens in all accidents. I mean, you get a variety of opinions. Right, and it happens, and it's you turn, and he quicked, and he didn't spare him. Lemieux gave it a nice fake. Okay, watch Lemieux. He won't miss the ship. John Sweeney able to clear it. And the Bruins uh, face I've done it myself, seven as a minutes. Of fact. And if they're called in order, the first one is actually two minutes. Goes back to Kelly else inside the line. He's on with Kravchuk at the other point. He moves it around behind the net. Still holding it. Back for Kravchuk. Kravchuk moves it off on the side for Noonan. And deep for Sutter. Isn't Brent Sutter playing for Chicago? Daryl Sutter is the coach. Brian Sutter is the coach of the Bruins. And the Bruins are able to tie it up and get the whistle from Schick. 9.17 left in the first period. Hey, fans, for a truly unique remembrance of one of hockey's all-time greats, a number of museum-quality replicas of Lorraine Neiman's classic or for the defense are still available for purchase. These incredible collector's items can be yours by calling 1-800-793-6774. And it's all for a great cause because all proceeds will be distributed among Boston's Children's Hospital, the Lupus Foundation, and the Ronald McDonald Charities. Well, the Bruins are one minute down, six minutes to go on this penalty. And in the corner, what for? Oates trying to move it out, can't do it. It was kept in. Pass in front, knocked away. Bruins batted it out. Adam Oates, great at getting that puck in the air. And he's able to knock it out. Kelly Oates is on, he drives it in. Lou blocks it. Check behind the net, and it's off for Goulet. Goulet for Roman. For Goulet. Roman all behind the net, broken up by Wesley, and he clears. 30 seconds left on the first of the penalties. And over the line, Lama walking in, and the shot is high. He snapped it up. At the point, kept in by Chelios. Smith, shot saved by John Blue. Rebound, John Sweeney able to drop it out. On the backhand clear. The Bruins have to be careful in the line change. Eddie Belfour is very good, as is John Blue with the puck and passing it right back up to center ice. Chelios drives it in, tipped wide by John Blue. Newman goes to the corner, hit by Bork. And the puck bats, got it out the front, banged away, and the Bruins get it and break it out, shorthanded. Hines coming, checked all the way by Chelios. He's been on for the first two minutes. We'll see how long he goes. We're down. We're in the five-minute range now. This is the major penalty. And it is Steve Smith, center ice, driving in. Rebound, right front. Wing. John Blue, the story thus far, he's made four or five great saves. Trapped in back of the net. Once trying to get it out. Here comes Noonan off the wing. It bounces right to him. The Hawks play this play all the time. They practice it. You come off those end boards and you some scooting from the blue line, you can get in very quickly. Look where he is, Terry, right at the top of his crease. John Blue likes to get out to handle the puck. Sometimes he has to handle it a little bit more than the puck, like, oh, say, a Blackhawk or two. Bruins get the puck in front of the net, get it out. Faceoff coming up to the left of John Blue. 7.46 left in the first period. Chicago up to 12 shots to five for Boston. one nothing. the Hawks. Dirk Graham the goal. And we have 4.35 left on Featherstone's penalty, and he's been kicked out of the game. And the Bruins could put a man in the box there. Yeah. Well, they have the man there. Well, Darren Kimball's in there for the fight. Imagine he's staying for duty. Down a shot. And he missed the net as he moved right in. 
Kravchuk at the left point. Keep it in for Noonan. Noonan swings it in. Goes behind the net. And around the boards. It is back for Kravchuk again. Kravchuk for Sutter. And for Noonan. Noonan check. Pass in front. It is blocked. Bruins can't clear it. Hines trying to barrel it out. And he does. Gets it to center ice. Brown with it. Checked by Adam Oates. Brown is able to hold it away. And for Kravchuk. Played in again off the corner. This time, Blue is ready for it. Beats the player to it and clears it. What an asset that is. Able to move out quickly. And center ice. Reed plays it back. Juno now to Bork. And Bork. Long shot on Belfour. Skipping down the ice. And break out now by Chelios. He had a brief rest. He's right back out there. Goes in for Bork behind the net. Bork able to pick a spot and clear it. Smith with it. Starting to get restless here. Now Gilbert. Taken down on the play was Graham, and Bork is able to clear it out. Juno is out there with Hines, Don Sweeney, and Ray Bork. 3-12 left on the major against Featherstone. Chelios. Pass is blocked by Ray Bork. Intended for Goulet. And Smith has to start again. Poulin is out there now. Winding up is Rona. Rona flashes. Skating hard over the line. Behind the back for Larmer. Larmer pass. Chucked by Poulin. And deflects into the stands. And a face-off call. Box one. Bruins nothing. Back in a moment. On Nessie. Major. 1-0 Chicago. Dirk Graham the score. Six minutes left in the first period. Ronick looking at the time up there. Ronick has uh, Goulet and Larmer, Chelios and Smith. And uh, Brian Sutter has used a whole variety of penalty killers. Juno now being given that role. Oates is out there with Reed now. And then, in essence, really, anyone can kill a penalty. With good skating skills, if you can read plays, and if you, and if you work hard, And the draw is kept in by Chelios. Good play. Draw back from Wesley going. He can't get it. Larmer gets it around. Ronick back for Smith. Or Chelios. Shot in front. Block. Goes wide. Drive by Smith. Missed the net. Chelios able to keep it in at the right point. For Larmer behind the net. For Goulet. Broken up by Shaw. Shaw gets control and clears. And 2.24 left. On the major against Featherstone. 5.30 left in the first period. 1-0 Chicago. Run it. Over the line. Check. Broken up by Oates. Puck kept in. Oates gets it away from Smith and clears it. Oh, what a defensive play. Oates made first on Ronick and then on Smith. Actually, in effect, broke up both of them and cleared it. We're under two minutes. On the man advantage in deep four. Slams it up the boards and out. Knocked out. Kravchuk. Grabbed by Juno. Bork moves it back. Juno gets it free for Don Sweeney, and he's able to clear it. Man's not happy here with this power play. 130 left on the major. Luke Brown drives it in again. That Deflection in front of the net, and the Bruins get to cover it, and Juno is able to clear it out off the boards. Well, the Bruins are ready for it now after Noonan picked it off the corner and drove in, and Lou had to make a big stop. 112 left on the Chicago power play. Gilbert drives for the corner. They play it again. Play it again, Sam. The Bruins get control, though, as they move for it quickly. And Wesley is able to clear it. We have 50 seconds left. Four minutes left in the first period. One nothing Chicago. Steve Smith drives it in. And Bruins can't get it. It bounces across for Chicago. Kicked in by Gilbert. Check. Ray Bork. Poulin going for it. Poulin able to clear it out. 35 seconds left on the penalty. Reed forcing the play. Don Sweeney moving up. Checking it. Chicago has to start again. And it's off for Graham, who has the lone goal of the game. 20 seconds left on the total of seven minutes against Featherstone, and the Bruins have done a marvelous job. 
At the start, Chicago had some pressure. Puck has dropped in softly. Blue is able to get it. Passes it off. Bruins can't connect, though, to move it out. Puck behind the net. Rolls in front. Kept in by Smith. Smith into the corner. Gets it for Rona. Rona back for Smith. Bruins get the man back. Shot a great save by John Blue. Stop. Flip by Chelios. Picking the corner and Blue read it all the way and blocked it. And Chicago, for about five minutes, did not get a shot. It is Hawks 1, Bruins nothing. Back in a moment on Nessa. <laughs> well, how unhappy do you think he is that his club had a seven-minute power play, managed maybe, what, two shots in the power play? One? That came like, early. Magnificent job of penalty killing by the Bruins. I, I think they had three shots. Three? It wasn't nine. It, it went to 12, and that 13th came by Chelios when the Bruins were back at full strength. Now the puck is kept in by Noonan. Pass goes blue out of the net, gets it around for Hughes. Hughes lost it. Play broken up, but kept in now for Matto and deep for Noonan. Noonan check, grabbed by Shaw. And it's cleared around the board. And there's Chelios way in, putting it near the net. Block. Sutter. Got it and shot it wide. Leach trying to come out. And Hughes finally able to clear it from center ice into the Chicago end. 227 left here. First period, 1 0 Chicago. The story of the game penalty killing by the Bruins. This is icing. Uh, Chicago hasn't faced Blue, and they don't know if they're going to continue to shoot it in like that and Blue's gonna, get it off the corner. He's gonna Blue, eat it Blue's up. gonna. I think that it, they have advanced scouts. Jim Pappen was watching the Bruins a couple of games. He knows. He's told them. But the Chicago Blackhawks do this on a regular basis. They shoot it in on the corners and force the goalkeeper to handle it. And hopefully they get a break. Hey, don't miss VC great Doug Flutie and Bruins legend Bobby Orr go head-to-head -head on the ice for all the benefit of the Massachusetts Association for the Blind. Sunday, February 21st, 1.30 the time at County Forum on the campus of VC. The Boston Bruins old-timers battle the Boston College alumni Eagles. Well, the face-off coming up to the right of Belfour after the icing. Juno's going to take him. He's out there with Leach and Oates. He could have very easily have been a B.C. Eagle. Yes. Jeremy Roenick had uh, decided to go to B.C. and all of a sudden decided to become a pro. On the draw, it's not cleared. Four keeps it in. Shoots. It's blocked. What a screen. Man. Roenick took that off the foot. Mark is cleared out now, and Lord Roberts there with him. Can't set up Juno. Juno has to start again. Now Ray Bork. Roberts. Play stopped by Brown. Cut in now for Larmer. And Blue ever ready to come out. He was almost moving in. Bork taken down by Larmer behind the net. Juno scrapping for it there. Bork back up. Larmer back up. Trying to get it. Lemieux still working. Oh. Tough battle in the corner. Lemieux moved it up and it goes to Leach. Leach can't come out. He is checked. Center ice battered around him. At the Boston line, Juno's pass stopped by Rutu and fed in. Stopped by Sheck twice. Leach from Roberts to come out. Play broken up by Graham, who has the lone goal of the game. And the shot here just wide as Graham. Got it around the board. One minute to play in the period. Puck was kept in. That was Dave Christian who had the shot. Now Reed trying to come out. Gets it to Oates. Oates looking for Leach. Leach over the line. Gets it for Reed. The shot. Oh, into the stands. Deflected off the glove of Balfour as Reed had a chance there. Oh, Dave Reed got rid of that quickly, Derek. Balfour just got enough of it. Yes, oh. didn't get it high enough. Dave Reed would have loved to have seen it. Just tuck this under the crossbar. Each in motion with a bouncing puck. No one picks Reed up. Quick snaps it off there. Right oh. off the hand. Just barely got it with the top of the thumb. This is a tough day at the beach. Ray Bork gets hit there. You know, he takes Larmer. Now, Larmer is physical. I'm going to take him down. There you go. Pull him down. Okay, Steve, you stay with me. Now, Lemieux's back there with Juneau. Watch Larmer come up to the back of Ray Bork. Put the elbow right in the back of the head. There you go. A little cuff. Ah, well, tough sledding back of the net. 
puck cleared on the faceoff. Lou out to drop it for Wesley. Wesley around for Reed. Rizicka and Kvartolov complete the line. Rizicka for Kvartolov. Back for Rizicka over the line. He's checked Kvartolov with it. Trying to move in. Kent able to keep the puck away from Mato. A shot off the side of the net. Now it's kept in at the point by Wesley. Lost it. And out comes Noonan. Shot blocked by Don Sweeney. Bruins come away. Here comes Reed. Fire save by Balfour. Four seconds left. And the shots are 14 Chicago, 9 for Boston. And Don Sweeney holds the puck in the Boston zone. As the first period ends, it is Chicago 1 and Boston nothing. Innovation highlights on Nesson in a moment. Have I got a four-wheel drive vehicle? Boston Garden. I don't think it's who's to blame or who's the good guy, who's the bad guy. I think uh, when we let this all settle down, we'll sort of step back and try to come to grips with what this means to us as a community. One of our bankers just said, you know, this is an outcome that's unacceptable. We don't need this as a community. And I think the garden for many is this morality play of uh, good and bad when I think it ought to be an opportunity for us to solve some problems that plague this community. The death of this project is a damn shame. It's a shame for the Massachusetts economy, it's a shame for the thousands of people employed by the Garden, and a shame for the hundreds of thousands of sports fans for whom the Bruins and Celtics are part of the fabric of life in Massachusetts. It's a shame because this did not have to happen. Oh, I, I think uh, this pretty final chord been struck here unless there are some decent and leader, reasonable leaders in this town who haven't come to the front, um, I don't know if the parties at hand can get it done. I think, um, again, there's like a big hole that's been taken out of this community. The fact of the matter is that building we call the garden uh, has got serious problems of its existence. Um, and we've got to solve it. We've got to solve it either individually or collectively, and I would suggest the way to do it is collectively. We better learn how our community ought to work together to get things done. You know, you have schoolboy tracks sitting out there for decades. Why? You have educational problems. Why? The garden is just a symbol of a bigger problem. The garden, you know, doesn't mean a lot. There's homelessness, there's bad women. It doesn't mean a lot, but it's a symbol to a lot of people. And there is a certain irony that the announcement that the new garden won't happen here comes as the Bruins are in Chicago because a new Chicago stadium is already going up there across the street from the still functional old one, which is one year younger than the garden. And the score at the end of the first period, one nothing Chicago, back with game highlights, next on Nesson. Tommy, thank you. Cam, uh, it'd be nice to have you on the ice tonight. I'm sure the club could use you, but uh, the fact that you're along for the ride and getting closer, a chance you'll play before you get home again? Well, I don't know. I'm getting asked that question a lot. Um, you know, I'm going to see what happens, see how it goes uh, next few days, and it seems to be, like I say, responding well, so I certainly don't want to rush it at this point, but it's it's feeling really, really good. You haven't missed any skating, you haven't missed any timetables, uh, for lack of a better term, in the last few weeks, huh? No, it's been great. Uh, you know, I mean, Tommy's got me out there working pretty hard, and, and uh, the following day, and even the day uh, later on that day, it's, it seems to uh, respond well to the skating I'm doing. And I think there's a lot more skating in, in the practice that I'm doing than it would be in a game, so it's it's definitely encouraging. How's your timing in the drills? Well, I mean, that's going to take some time. Uh, I really would like to get into a little bit more of, uh, you know, see if we can get some scrimmages or something. I mean, just, you know, skating drills and stuff is is a warm-up, but, you know, I mean, games are a lot different. So hopefully I can get a couple of scrimmages under my belt and then really see what happens. Have you been working with any one line in particular, Cam, or does Brian just throw you out there with anybody and everybody? No, I'm, I'm rotating. I'm playing right, left, and center. I uh, haven't played D yet, but I don't think there will be a chance of that. <laughs> but no, not any, not any particular. And I certainly don't want to, you know, uh, wreck anybody else's combinations going day of the game. I just uh, 
uh, float in and out wherever I uh, can find a spot. Well, you know, it's not a matter of if, but when now, and that's going to take an awful lot off your mind regardless of when that it really is. Yeah, it does. I mean, there was the uh, longest time there that, uh, you know, I wasn't really sure. I always felt pretty positive that I can come back and play. It's just a matter of when, and now, you know, I, can, I realize that it's a matter of when. I mean, a lot of people, I think, wrote me off, which uh, kind of encouraged me a little bit, uh, gave me more, more drive. Not that I needed any, but... Uh, um, you know, I'm certainly excited about it, and, and it's 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 been a great uh, trip so far, and I hope it continues for me. Well, stay healthy. Above all, stay healthy, and uh, we'll look forward to seeing you out there for the first time. All right. Thanks, Dave. All right, let's go upstairs right now to Fred and Derek. Guys? Old Chicago Stadium. Oh, that's Chicago Stadium. I made, I've made that climb before. The, the big problem is climbing down with skates on. Going up to snap. Coming down, the old building has some banners in the rafter. Rafters, the last time the Blackhawks won the Stanley Cups is 1961. Well, I gotta tell you though, when I started uh, broadcasting Bruins games and coming out here, people won't believe this. If they had 4,000 people in this huge stadium at a game, they had a good crowd. And not until Bobby Hull came. Is that right? They, Bobby Hull is the Bobby Arnold Palmer it. of the Chicago Blackhawks? He certainly was and, and turned it, but I, I want to tell you, it was empty, empty. Well, you talk about, there's a banner to Bobby Hull. You talk about turning it around. Boston Bruins, a man short for nine minutes that period. That was a monstrous kill. Well, there'll be a new Chicago stadium come August of 1994. And that is uh, going up quickly. Would have been a similar situation in Boston, right next door, but, you know, that's working out. And we're underway now, second period. Smith drives it in wide of John Blue, and Graham is on to try and put it in front, blocked by Don Sweeney. They battle in the corner. Graham, Don Sweeney again. Now we two. We two knocked down by Bork. He's trying to get the puck. He does to Juno. Juno gets it up. And Leach breaks it out. Three on two in the middle. It is Don Sweeney off for Oates. Oates for the trailer. Bork and the shot is blocked. Doesn't reach the net. Now the flex into the stands. And the faceoff will be outside the line. Great Bork saying it went off a stick. Glass at Chicago Stadium along the end boards is a little lower than it is <laughs> in, uh, most other buildings around the league. So pucks leave the uh, blank surface a little more readily. <laughs> And if you're sitting up about eight rows, you are now in, uh, uh, keep your eye on the puck zone. You're in prime landing area. Oh, big time. The hardier fans sit just above the glass here in the end zone. Smart ones sit in the front row. That's all up in the stand, up in the top. This could be icy. No, John Blue has to play it. It's Noonan coming down first. Sutter is able to check it, keep it in. The Bruins roll it out. It is stopped by Smith. Yes. Reflects into the stands and a face-off called at center ice. You know, basically, we don't know the result of what's going to happen in this game tonight. The Bruins have got to be pretty happy, one, with the way they killed that penalty. And two, they're in the Chicago Stadium. They've had a week rest. They come out. They threw everything at you that they had in the first period. It's still anybody's hockey game. But you have to kill seven or nine minutes of a period. You get in a defensive mode. It takes time, does it not, to right. get it's your mind set your, going? Your Rizitskas that don't get on, your Kvartalnovs and Pantaleas, the guys that do not get on the ice during those kills. They used Heinz Donato and they used Pula and Reed. Those guys got a lot of ice time. And March weren't able to clear it now. Back goes Wesley. Blue likes to make a play, comes out of the net, and leaves it for his defenseman. And on this one, right in front, Wesley took down the man. It was Noonan who was trying to cut for it. Shaw, indeed, trying to move it out. It's stopped by Noonan. Matto broke it up, and Hines for Pamela off. That doesn't work. Brown kept it in, and it's out for Sutter, and he missed the net. Chicago missing a lot. And uh, they've put 14 on so far. Bruins trying to flick it out, and it will be icing to relieve that pressure as Wesley got it down. Opening minutes of the second period. Lone goal in the first period, Dirk Graham. And Boston had to kill a total of nine minutes in 
power play opportunities for Chicago, seven of them in a row. It's down below. Noonan coming out of the corner with a tip. Just doesn't get to it before Wesley knocks him down. And he trips Pints, gets away with it, and he gets elbowed in the head by Poulin. <laughs> That's quite the up-and-down shift, Brian Noonan. That's meeting basically everybody on the ice. We had hoped to talk with Brian Noonan during uh, the first intermission. Things didn't work out. Brian, a South Boston boy. In fact, he makes it a point to say, I'm not from Boston, I'm from South Boston. There okay. you go. But kept in, knocked away by the Bruins. They're going to call icing again. It's okay. Keep in that type of game. Wait for a chance. Be patient. Blackhawks putting the show on. They've only got nine games this month. Good look at Brian Noonan. Brian really on a roll as of late the last few weeks, right before the All-Star break. Talked with Jimmy Papp, and he said he was struggled a little bit at the beginning of the camp, but he, then he, in the last 12, 15 games, really started to put it together. Hawks need him. Dave Poulin on against Ronick. The base off to the left of John Blue. Puck kept in by Goulet. Checked on the boards. Ray Bork trying to work it up and out. Ronick checks it. Bruins bat it up the boards. Clear it out, but they can't create anything offensively as Larmer winds up in his zone. Checked by Panaleoff and forced back. Panaleoff stays on top of him. Finally, it is into the corner. Kuchera there trying to move it out. He does, but the Bruins in control. Roberts. Poulin. Flipped right back in. Belfour trying to make the clear now. And Ray Bork. They don't stop it. Keep it in. Now it bounces away. And the breakout by Kuchera. Kravchuk. Played in. John Blue leaves it for Roberts. Roberts up the middle. Partial breakaway. Poulin trying to come in. Poulin in. at home. Oh, Dave Poland stayed with this puck so nicely, especially as he made his move on Belfort. It looked like he lost control of the puck, and it just seemed to slow down just long enough in the crease so Dave could get his stick back on it and just coax it across the line. I'm going to get a look at it on the Mobile One instant replay. Right here, Poulin stays on side, beats his two, the two men, Kraft, Chuck, and Kucera, but watch, he doesn't touch the puck until he has to, and he gets back to it. Boston goal. Nicely done. Is 12 of the season. And the game is tied up. Scored by number Roberts sent him away right up the middle. Assisted by number 14, Gordon Roberts. And number 39, John Blue. And John Blue gets assist. an assist. Boston goal. And that's not his first. I believe it's his second. Roberts and and there'll be many, many more as Dave Pullen, not even. You wouldn't count on him for tonight's action after that injury. Oh, in Lewis. that looked like it was a devastating knee injury. Looked like it was a season ender. Dave Poulin shook it off. Had a couple, three treatments. Said, hey, feels fine. Limped through the, whole, through the airport with his bag. That's Blue's second assist of the season. And Dirk Graham, who has scored the Chicago goal, moves it out, March one breaks over the line, penetrates the shot, the save, blue, and the kick out, and it's lost. Gilbert is able to keep it in. Now Brown, a screen shot, scores! What a win! Deflection! Gilbert deflected the shot from the right point. The Bruins had failed to clear when they had possession. Dave Reed curled with the puck, lost it, got back to it, but what happened is the, the Blackhawks aggressively stayed in the end zone when Reed had full possession of it. This goes off Don Sweeney's shoulder. Now there's the shot. There's the save. Now Reed makes the curl, loses it a little bit right there. Gets back to it just in time, but he's he's motionless. He can't really get to Brown. Brown wrists it, goes off Don Sweeney in the corner, up over the left shoulder. Now watch Don Sweeney as this wrist shot comes up high in the chest area. Squared away to take the man in the corner. Right there, makes contact with his shoulder. Just slips over John Blue. And Brown gets the goal unassisted. And the Bruins clear it in. Belfort wheels it around the boards. Larmer trying to come out. And Ronick does. Can't set up Goulet. And Blue clears it right out. Center ice. Bruins. Hughes over the line. Trying to bear in. Lost his stick. Oh, 
puck right there, and he couldn't set up the play as moving with him was C.J. Young. Hughes goes banging around, playing without the stick. Well, let's see what the call is. It's on Chicago. It's on Chicago, elbowing. If, she, if Hughes can stay away now, March Mark goes out. The Bruins on a power play. The Hawks lead on a freak goal by Brown from the right point, deflected off Darm Sweeney and by John Blue. What? When Hughes loses the stick, he's trying to do something, trying to control it, keep it in front of him, then he's going to try to kick it. Blackhawks getting away with the elbow and the high stick most of the night. Now, Marchmont sees him coming. There's the elbow. Good call. Very good call. Rob Schick's been basically right on the money. It looked innocent enough as it happened. That kind of a defense. You see a guy coming at you with no stick, you know he's going to kind of hit you high, so Marchmont got the elbow up to protect himself. And the Bruins go on their second power play of the night. Chicago's had nine minutes. Adam Oates is... Oates rushes over the line. Offside was Leach on the left wing. Steve Leach thought he was going to get the puck there. Adam Oates was on the forehand to him, so he just started to Bust by Chelios. Adam got a little tricky at the line. Fooled Chelios, but he fooled Leach, too. <laughs> Chelios gave Leach a good whack across the hands. Just as they came over the line, just in case. Adam Oates on the point here for first time in a long stretch. And it is Kabartolov. Over the line. Try to bear in. Drops it off for Juno. Back for Oates. Over the fourth. Oates, fourth again. His shot deflected wide. Out of the net, you know. Trying to keep it in. It does, but his pass is stopped and cleared by Chelios. Rolls around and Gilbert able to get it for a shot and Blue is ready. Got back in the net. Bruins trying to clear and Gilbert came off the bench and had a shot from 45 feet. Ray Bork. Drives it in. Power play Boston. Juno keeps it in for Kabartola. For Juno. Juno back. Right point. Oates. In. Shot wide. Can't set it up. Leach. Trying to jam it. can It goes outside the line. Oates to Bork. Leach winding up. Lost it for the moment. Regains it. Now for Adam Oates. Fed in. 45 seconds left on the Bruins power play. They trail 2-1 to one on a freak go-ahead goal by Brown. Juno. Scrapsford keeps it in. And it's off for Oates. Well in. Oh, missing the net. Oh, Juno. He'll never get a better chance than that. Trying to keep it in. Juno digs for it. Pass is stopped by Smith. Juno had it. Open net. Couldn't get it. And Sutter now is able to clear it for Larmer. Larmer trying to bear in. Holding it. 12 seconds left on the power play, and Larmer does a good job killing time in the Boston zone. Wesley winding up. Ray Bork starts it out. Up the middle, over the line. Gets it off. For Rosicka, back for Bork. In his skates, can't get it as he cut right toward the net. And Belfort. And the penalty is over. Oates drops it off. It's blocked. And a breakout here for Chicago. Lemieux coming. The shot missed the net. The rebound out and the score by Chicago. The lively board. Set it up. Bad bounce. John Blue got a piece of it. Just enough to slow it off. Take a crazy carom behind the net. Just squirt outside to his right. There's Blue, gets a piece of it. It goes now more directly to the side of the net. Bounces strangely for Larmer. Rosie. Both, both scores get those breaks. Well, Rosie right here does not take Larmer out. He can't let Steve Larmer get position turn for that. And Chicago takes a two-goal lead on the score by Larmer. And those lively boards paid off there. And layoff over the line. Checked by Noonan. Broken up in a faceoff. 
It is Chicago 3, Boston 1. Back in a moment. Not necessary. When I finally put enough can For the two-goal lead. Lama trying to break in. Lou off to move it around. Not out. Poulin trying to move it away. Lama able to keep it in. A shot wide by Goulet. Marshman is broken up. Bruins started out. Dave Poulin. For Panelao. Panelao on Brown. Trying to put it in front. Dobbs knocked away by Marshman, who covered nicely. He can't clear it. Kept in by Boston now. Deflected away. Goes to center ice. Don Sweeney there. Driving in. And the Bruins, Poulin, trying to get it, but his pass across is stopped by Larmer. He scored that third goal. Shaw breaks it up, center ice. And nobody handles the puck. Everybody thought everybody else was going to do it. Finally, they clear it in. Looked like the Keystone Cops there for a second. And Ronick breaks it out now for Chicago. Broken up by Wesley, and it's cleared away center ice. Bruins trying to break with it, but back for it is Smith to Chelios, and the clear out by the Hawks. Bruins tied it up on Dave Poulin's goal in the second period, and the Hawks came back with two. A freak one by Keith Brown, deflected off Don Sweeney and in. Blew way out, runs into his defenseman, Roberts, but the Bruins are able to clear it. Racing C.J. Young on Chelios. Taken to the backboards. The puck back for it is Gilbert. Gilbert starts it out. Four Hawks coming. Three Bruins are back. Gilbert works it over the line. And the play is offside. John Blue, a little collision right here with Gordy Roberts. The face off outside the Boston Blue Line. We're looking at John Blue. Four shots by Chicago in this period. They have two goals. And a two-goal lead. The Boston line is Oates, Leach, and Juno. The Bruins with just two shots in this period. And we're about eight minutes into the period. Balfour has a little skate problem. Now getting ready. Two out there, centering Gilbert and Graham. Chelios drives it in. Well, there's no blocking those. And Ray Bork gets it. Gilbert for checking. Can't set up Juno, will be icing. And back is Chelios. It is. Chicago 3, Boston 1, back in a moment on Nessa. Coming up in the Boston zone, Route 2 against Oates. Draw to Darn Sweeney. Round now for Bork, for Oates. Doesn't handle it. And it's up to the Boston line again. Uh, Loose puck, Graham, Graham coming for a shot. A save by John Blue, and it pops off to his left. Bruins trying to come out, and Juno does. Three men back, though. Lutu gets back, and here's Oates. A shot deflected by Smith. Goes wide. Oates for Juno. Juno lost it as he was setting it up to shoot from maybe 35 feet. Bruins come back on the right wing. Leach, chance here. A shot. That's blocked. Goes wide. Chelios in the corner. And it is dug out by Rutu. In the center ice. Clear it down. Rather, Matto. Bork able to get it, clear it away. Backward, Kravchuk. On with Kuchera on defense. The clear out for Matal, now for Noonan. Can't move, Roberts with it. Now to Shaw. Back for Roberts, 10.45 left here, second period. The clear over the line, block. Reed trying to keep it in, can't. Noonan gets rid of it quickly. Bruins have to start again. A 3-1 lead for Chicago, and... They are checking mightily. Reed trying to get three and over the line for Kovratkola. Stop, gets it again. The shot is wide. And in deep, it is controlled by Kravchuk. Able to get it out to Noonan. Noonan drops it over the Boston line, and Shaw forced to wind up. Now to Dave Reed playing with that broken nose. 
Brought to Bartola. Can't send him through the defense. And right back comes Jeremy Rona. That's it over the line for Lemieux. For Lama on the shot. Deflected wide. Kept in now for Lama. Lama trying to cut in. Shot blocked. A little bit. But Lemieux can't get it in front. Oh, they came close there. And Rona keeps it in. Now with Lemieux. Ronick on the boards, pull down on the play, and a penalty on Boston. Ronick puts it in front again, it's blocked. Bruins get it, the penalty called, a power play Chicago, 9.45 left here in the second period. Well, with spring training less than two weeks away, it's time to start thinking baseball. And Nesson, of course, will be back for our 10th big year of Red Sox coverage beginning March 7th. Bob Kurtz and Jerry Remy will handle the play-by-play -play of over 90 games throughout the season as the Red Sox and Bruins play side-by-side -side all spring long right here on Nesson. Boy, this looked like a bally pinball table out in front of John Blue. Not good wood by Larmer, but Ronick will send it flying across, and the fun begins. Larmer with a chance. Lemieux can't get it to settle down. Ronick can't catch up with it. And finally, Gord Roberts called for hauling down Jeremy Ronick. Bruins did not need that. And the draw is back Mark to Chelios. Mark lost stick. Back for Chelios, a shot wide. Behind the net, Ronick. And a put it in front, blocked by Bork. Bork has a stick now around the boards. Chelios keeps it in for Smith. Smith checked by Hines. Hines kicks it out the center ice. Winding up is Larmer, broken up by Poulin. Poulin on the boards, jamming it up against two Hawks. Chelios and Larmer. And getting the face off. Scrappy work by Dave Poulin, who has the Boston score. And for Chicago, Graham in the first period. And in the second, Brown and Larmer. 3-1, the Hawks 9-12 left here, second period. Great work by Poulin. Excellent work by Poulin. He almost had the breakaway and the kick from Hines. I hear Steve Larmer figures he's got an easy goal, but not so. That's Dave Poulin on you. Tries to work it, then he ends up grabbing him. There's the hold around his arm, and he's going to pull him down with it. And the base off is called outside the line. Adam Oates out as a penalty killer with Dave Reed. And Chelios lost it. Oates with it. Oates goes deep. Puts it back for Don Sweeney. He checked on the play. Cut cleared in the Boston zone. Ray Bork ahead of Ronan. Wraps it around the boards. Chelios blocks it. Keeps it in. Checked by Oates. Reed gave Sweeney his stick. And Barmer with it. Now back. Chelios, Smith, pass in is blocked by Don Sweeney. Gets control. Can't clear it out. Oates does. He <laughs> can't clear it out. He's got a stick that is about two feet longer than his own. Bruins make a change up defensively as they're down three to one and they're shorthanded. Smith rushing. Broken up by Bork. Good play, Ray Bork. Read it all the way and broke him up. Puck batted up to the Boston line. Knocked away by Wesley. And cleared now by Oates. 22nd Chicago power play. Winding up. In the center ice comes Rutu. Play is broken up. Goes to Poulin. Poulin holding that center ice on the boards. Jamming it up. Now clearing it over the Hawk line. Five seconds on the power play. Well, it's penalty killing has been something else. Shaw able to clear it out. Poulin trying to break, and he was just stopped on the play by Crouchy. Keith Brown winds up. Passes blocked, center ice, full strength Boston. C.J. Young trying to move it in, can't. John Sweeney now. Able to move it in with help from Kimball out of the net. Belfour. Belfour trying to wheel it away. Up the boards. Chicago gets it and clears it out. 3-1 the Hawks. 7-12 left here. Puck cleared in by the Bruins. It was touched by Young, so it's not icing. Belfour out to play it around the boards. Bruins hustle to keep it in. Hughes pass up block. Loose puck. And the Hawks are able to just get it outside the line. 
just playing strong defense. One of the features of the team. Here's a break now. Over the line. Leach coming in. Shot. Scores! Steve Leach coming off the bench. Broke in alone and drove it between the pads of Belfour and the Bruins trail 3-2. to two. That is a huge goal. The Chicago Blackhawks That's just coming along nicely. Figure this game's in hand. Bruins didn't quit. They kept coming at them, coming at them. Stevie Leach had just come on for Darren Kimball, and as he hit the ice, he saw the puck. And instead of bolting, he waited just long enough to stay onside. Then it was a matter of, when do I pull the trigger? Right here, five hole. Boston goal is... Oh, that's a monster goal. Big goal to get. You got a 3-1, you're, you're on the road. Hawks are flying. Well, we played uh, Boston's third shot of the period. Third shot of the period in 13 minutes. Is that good defense or not by Chicago? Excellent. Well, they had the puck. Not a bad shot. Not that they played seven. such great defense. They had the puck all the time. <laughs> That's probably the best defense to hold on to it, not let the other team play with it. Heck, the Blackhawks only have five in this period. Yeah. Both teams have done a pretty good job of jumping in each other's sweaters. Not a lot of free ice to move around in out there. Well, that helps. When you fall down 3-1, what you want to do is, obviously, you'd like to be ahead by five or six. But in Chicago, what you want to do is make sure you're not out of the game. And the Bruins right now, right back in at 3-2. They need a break now. They need a power play. A nice, pretty power play goal would be nice. 18th goal by Steve Leach at 13-14 from C.J. Young and Ray Bork. This one isn't clear. Back for it goes Chelios. Bruins, Oates, trying to keep it in. He does on the boards for Juno. Juno's pass is blocked. Goes to center ice. Chicago breaks with it. Lemieux over the line with Mato. Into the corner. Checked by Shaw behind the net. Still scrapping. Comes off with it. Gives it to Chelios. What shot. Tipped by Roenick and went wide. And hustling. Lemieux keeps it in for Roenick. Roenick wheeling in the zone. Taken down on the play by Roberts. Shaw now trying to come out. Locked. Oh, big play by Roberts. Intercepted that one. There was an open man who was looked like uh, Lammer in front. Uh, rather, Lemieux had that puck gone across. But Roberts blocked it. The ones come back on the right wing side. Hines a shot. Like the block. Leach, rather. Leach moves it near the net. Tied up by Balfour and a faceoff. Well, and Steve Leach. Chicago 3, Boston 2, back in a moment on Nessa. And the faceoff coming up now to the left of Ed Balfour. Through two against Poulin. Dave Poulin at the first Boston score. Steve Leach the second. And the draw goes to Keith Brown. 5.43 left here in this period. Brown, trouble getting out, but Graham is able to clear it. Ray Bork there. Bork lead over the line for Poulin. Rock pass for Hines. Shot blocked. Balfour behind the net. Trying to clear. Hines blocks it. Puts it in front. Poulin can't get the handle to it. Can't make the drop pass. Graham gets it. Graham out with Gilbert. Takes the long shot. Chicago. Battling the Preserve the one-goal lead and wait for their opportunities. And they force the play in the Boston zone now to get it to Gilbert behind the net. Check on the play. Tripping power for oh. You two trip. Bork is out. Power play Chicago. Fans called that one. I Rob thought Schick. he caught his skate on the back of the yeah, cage. Yeah, I did too. Ray, Rob Chick calling a great game. He let the fans call that one. They mowed up with the arm. He's a little late on the arm getting up. I don't know, Ray Bork, pretty sneaky. Ray Bork might have done something. We'll see. He doesn't appear too happy about it. There's behind the net. Ray Bork comes out. There goes the foot. That's tripping. Good call by Rob Schick. We're, we're in error up here. We are a little bit too quick to... I apologize for that. He did let the crowd call, so he wasn't going to call. I didn't think he was either, Dave. He was waiting too long with the arm. But... Chicago, another power play. They have nine minutes in the first period. Bruins have kept them at bay on the power play. Chicago leads 3-2. to two. Ronick is out there. The draw is for Shaw. They're able to clear it. And back goes 
Chelios. 4.54 left here in the second period. Shots are 19 to 12 for Chicago. They had 14 in the first period. The clear in by Marchmont and around the boards. It rolls for Boston's Dave Shaw, and he's able to clear it again. Chelios winding up. Marchmont clears it. This could be icing. And it is. Don Sweeney back for it. Daryl Sutter trying to spare uh, Chelios and Steve Smith. Right. Great act, great defensive play by Dave Poulin. Reads it well. Jerry Mironic, when you're in that dressing room, you gotta, your coach will tell you, pick up Mironic. He is very fast. Do not let him do things. That's in a power play. If he ever has some room to start to pick up the gallop. He's very physical, too. He gives himself a lot of space out there. His dad, Wally's in town to watch tonight's game here at the stadium. I think Jeremy Roenick shouldn't hit as often as he does. I'm surprised he does, Derek. I mean, he's not an overly big guy. Mike Keenan had him hitting everything that moved. And Adam Oates tries a shot right off the faceoff. Remember that score he made? And the break out loud. Third in. Lou out of the net. Pokes it for Oates. Oates moves it up. But Chelios moves in. He's able to keep it in. And behind the net, Sutter with it. Now back to the point. Kravchuk over to Chelios. Chelios screen shot. Missed the net. The long rebound goes outside the line. Chelios starting the play. It's stopped by Dave Reed. Reed to Oates. All the way back to Wesley in the Boston zone. And the clear out. Hines trying to move with it. He's checked on the play. The loose puck. Oates picks it up. He's over the line. He's trying to move in. He scores! Short-handed! Adam Oates ties up the game! Adam Oates gets a tremendous oh. break here, fighting the man off. He tried the shot. A good defensive play. Lifted his stick. Caused him to delay. Belfour never picks up the delay. And Oates, a very tough angle shot. Trips the needle. What hands on this play? Watch this. Armor on the back check. Armor stick under it. Now he can't get the shot off. But he protects it, gets it back, snaps it all. That's great hands, Kirk. Great hands. Right there he fans. Fans the shot. He doesn't quit. That's what you got to do. Do not quit on the puck. Stay with it. Look at Belfort. Belfort cannot believe he played the original shot that he never got the stick to. Larmer thought he had him checked. Everyone thought he had him checked except Adam Oates. Great MVP in my book. Austin Bruins. Jawar is the most valuable player to your hockey club. Certainly in the running for that award. So, so Buffalo will certainly give you an argument to Patty LaFontaine. Pat LaFontaine. Right there. Chris Chelios here. Ed Belfour here. And the Bruins tie it up short-handed. Ray Bork in the penalty box and 34 seconds left on that. Adam Oates used as a penalty killer now in the last couple of games. And he had a chance in St. Louis short-handed too. Hebert made a great stop on him. Lutu comes back over the line for Lemieux. The save right pad by John Blue as Lemieux, one of the best players for Chicago, puts it on the corner. Good play there, Dave Shaw. Puck out to center ice. Smith flipping in. And Lemieux, a hustler all the way. Jocelyn. Around the boards. Bruins get Bork back. And Poulin trying to get the face off. Bruins got three defensemen Can't do out it. there. Rutu comes off with it for Smith. Smith checked by Poulin. Taken far oh. on the play. Penalty on Dave Poulin. 2.47 left. Out goes Poulin. It is Boston 3, Chicago 3, back in a moment on Messing. The real advantages of Sundance from Chrysler Plymouth are easy to see. But just over 7,900, that's a real revelation. See your local Chrysler Plymouth dealer. Well, they saw it coming up now. Pulling out for holding. Sutter gets the draw for Chelios. Indeed. Sutter, checked by four. Poulin in the box. Gronick able to get it back to the left point. Over to the right point. Chelios the shot. Score! Chelios drove it low and hard on the power play. And the Hawks get their first power play goal and take the lead. Four to three. Oh, he 
can only give a club so many chances with the man advantage. Bob averages day, the Blackhawks sooner or later are going to pop one. Didn't take long on this one. Yeah, uh, he shot this one as a bullet. It's like it had eyes, a far corner. John Blue, Bruins get caught in assignment, switch to defense. On the point man, right there, comes through. Just might have been tipped in front. Sutter might get that. And it is a power play goal and a 4-3 lead. Bruins have spent about half of the game so far shorthanded. They get it now. Wesley, a lead too far for Juno. Chelios is backward. Juno checking him. It's up for Noonan. And Noonan able to clear it out. Bruins trail 3-1. to one, Tied it up in the shorthanded goal by Oates. Oates trying to come now, and he's checked by Matto. Chelios for Smith. And the flip in wide of John Blue. 154 left here in the second period. Bruins trying to come out. They have only four shots in this period. And they have two goals. Puck is in deep for Graham. Graham trying to put it in front. Check. Gilbert with it. Puts it in front. Kick. Same. Juno starts out. Juno and Oates. Two on two. Coming on Brown. Juno. Holes. Looks for a defenseman. Nobody coming out. And the play is broken up and cleared out. Now oh, Adam Oates. Trying to come out. Don Sweeney with it. Breaks. Don Sweeney. Clearing in. Now four up to get it. Four to three, Chicago. With Bruins checking Young. Trying to keep it in. Can't. Graham gets it away. Rona can't handle it. And Shaw now able to flip it out. One minute to play in the period. A minute left here in the second period. Four to three, Chicago. Puck is out for Lemieux. Lemieux hit by Shaw. Broken up. Back comes Young. Young lost it to Brown. Knocked down on the play by Lemieux. Puck third in all the way to John Blue. And Robert starts it out. Roberts hit by Lemieux. Oh, the body falling. And Roberts gets it over the line. A smashing hit there. As Kimball is taking down. Kimball is going out. Kimball pulled down. Marshmont. Lemieux is ready to fight. Kimball, well, Belfort's got to go. Belfort got involved. That could be a third man in here. Kimball. Pulled down Marshmont. That's the original penalty. Well, truth be told, Darren was lucky he didn't get a high sticking earlier on Marshmont. Darren went back to the well one too many times. So, 19 seconds left in the period. The Hawks in front, 4-3. to three. Belfort's got to get a penalty. Kimball may get four. Black Hawk goal. There's the hit. 14 of the season. Scored on the power play by number seven, Chris Chelios. Now watch Belfour comes in. Belfour grabs him. Third man in. I don't know if he's going to call it or not. Oh, Matteau's also there, Turk. I don't know which one him to point at as the third man. There's no question there were two on the Blackhawks there. And that's what Rob Schick is trying to get squared away with. Both Hodges and Paré. I think it will even out because of uh, that Balfour. third man in. Balfour. Balfour. I don't think they'll give Balfour a penalty. Give somebody else. This copyrighted broadcast is brought to you under pay cable TV rights granted to the New England Sports Network. Any rebroadcast, retransmission, or the use of the accounts and events of this game without the express written consent of the Bruins and Nesson is prohibited. The goal is by Chelios, assist to Smith and to Roenick at 17-27, the power play goal, to give Chicago a 4-3 lead. They're up to 22 shots, Boston has 13, and the Bruins battle back and tie this game at 3, but another power play for Chicago, and a 4-3 lead has finally made it paid off. The Bruins had to kill off 9 minutes 
in the first period, shorthanded. That can take its toll as the game as the game wears on. The Bruins, this is their third night in four games, uh, third game in four nights. I'm sorry. Chicago's had a week off. They're just getting into the groove. Well, you have to use certain players too too, too much. much, too often, and then the legs of your other players, that the offensive, the Pantaleos, and the Rizicic, and the Kamartalnos, don't get in the flow of the game. Bruins are going to be shorthanded. Kimball gets the extra two minutes. Whatever else developed does not balance out. That's what I figured. If Kimball would get four, and Belfort gets the two. Kimball does get four, and Belfort too. But what happened to uh, the altercation? Jocelyn Lemieux. Jocelyn Lemieux, right? Jocelyn got in the middle of the dance. Well, actually, well, Kimball grabbed him. Lemieux didn't grab Kimball, so there's the extra. And Belfort grabbed. So. Belfort gets two for roughing. Kimball two for roughing, and Kimball two for the original penalty, the holding on Marchman. And so another power play for Chicago with 19 seconds left in the period. Dave Poulin still arguing with Rob Schick. Rob Schick getting the the argument of Brian Sutter. He was on the bench talking with Poulin about how he wanted to agree, how how he saw it. He'd go over and say, this is what Brian thinks. Now, Brian Sutter on the bench getting a little excited. He can't believe the calls that were let go. There was some charging. There was some high sticking. Well, let's put it this way. If Rob Schick's future was predicated on Brian Sutter's evaluation tonight... Oh, yeah. He'd, All referees... Uh, he'd have a tough time getting a job tomorrow. Philadelphia and Montreal locked in a 0-0 battle in the third period. Been had a zip-zip tie in a long time in this league. Brian hasn't sent anybody over to serve the penalty yet. That's in, in protest. We don't see uh, Joshua and uh, the Mew that much, but I can never recall a game where he has not been a hard-working forward and a disturber. I, he is the spitting image friend of his brother. Claude, but, uh, but he's much more... Claude uh, takes nights off, I think. But not Josh. I, I, but, but, and that's an assessment of we, we don't see... No, I shouldn't make that statement. Right, right. How do I know? I don't think any player in the National League takes nights off intentionally. You may go up with a different philosophy thinking, okay, I'm going to well, I don't mean literally. I right. just mean... Uh, that's a little strong. Okay, I'll back off then. <laughs> Again, I said it. Bob Frateroli is our producer and director, and he's going to erase that segment. <laughs> We have 19 seconds left. Power play Chicago again. And Ronick over the line. Slides it off. Shot. Save John Blue on Matto. Kellyos able to keep it in. Poke it up the door. It's five seconds left. John Sweeney trying to move it out. Pooling over there. Can't clear it. Kept in. Now it's poked away by Bork. Not time enough for him to break. The two-on-one. Would have been a two-on-one for and Poulin, but time ran out. And the period ends. And the score at the end of two periods, Chicago 4 and Boston 3. Intermission highlights on that's the in a moment. I think Chicago would be a little more careful. Here along the boards. Three Hawks. Kind of kick loose by Steve Hines, but he doesn't get a helper on it. Hines a good position to get the rebound, if there was one. Yeah, I thought Hines kicked that loose and should have gotten an assist on that play, Derek. But uh, no assists were handed out on Adam Oates' 35th of the year. And it was the 99th point. One of the great feats in hockey happened tonight. Montreal and Philadelphia. Zip, zip. It's amazing. Andre Rossico in goal tonight for Montreal in that game. And uh, Tommy Soderstrom for Philadelphia. Well, 
Kimball and Hughes take up their places in the penalty box. It is Darren Kimball's penalty. 140 left on it. Set to go. On the Hawks power play. They had nine minutes man advantage in the first period. And they uh, picked up three more penalties and part of another one. Man advantage. The Bruins have had uh, two power plays. So it is Sutter out there and Ronick is playing a wing position as we start. Smith and Chelios. I'd like to check the time that Chelios plays in a game. But of course a lot of it has been on the power play and that's certainly not as taxing. Puck fed in. Blue gets it around. And Bork able to clear it out. Blue. All the way down to Ed Belfour and he drops it off for Chelios. Ronick winding up. Reed after him. Coolin after Chelios. And the pass out too far ahead goes to Blue. Blue trying to clear it. Can't. Kept in by Smith. Right for Chelios. Shot. Missed the net. Rebound. Smith. Smith. High shot. Knocked away by Blue. Kept in by Larmer. Play checked and cleared by Dave Reed. And with that broken nose as he knocked it away from Chelios. 4-3 Chicago just underway in the third period. At always lively Chicago Stadium. Oats. Pass blocked by Chelios. Bruins get control though. Dave Shaw able to move it out. And 40 seconds left. Chicago with all their power play chances. Just the one goal by Chelios, but a big one on the power play. As Rutu clears it in. Blue is able to block it. Shaw gets it around for Oates. Oates a lead for Hines. Hines can't get it. Chelios there. Now for Rutu. Chelios starts it out with Smith. Smith forced to wind up again. Able to flip it in to the corner. And it's called an offside. He put that very high in the air, so the player underneath it <laughs> not got a lot of room. When you flip it high and soft, you really do get to travel quite a distance. I'm blue. Feels the puck a lot coming out. Here they blast it in, the Blackhawks. He comes out. But he's got to get there quickly. He does. Sets it up right there. Dave Schaff fires it around and out. Tremendous asset that is. John Blue played one game in the minors. I, I doubt if another professional has ever done that. He played on, in, in the minors as a paid professional as a forward one night. <laughs> I bet there are a lot of goaltenders that like the opportunity. Fred asked him how did he do. He said he was plus one. <laughs> <laughs> Puck is in for John Blue and Ray Bork. Able to get it blocked. Graham had it. Now lost it. And a quick clear out by Oates. He couldn't mess around with that one. The Bruins have killed off another Chicago power play. They've had seven and one of them was a five minute major. So that's about like nine. Leach trying to come. He has a goal and he's stopped by Brown. Archman on with Brown on the fence. But clear to one. Lock. And with it, Leach trying to come back for Adam Oates. Oates for Bork. Bork across for Juno. Juno gets around. Graham cuts in. Shot. Blocked by Balfour. Goes wide. Penalty coming up on Chicago. As they get possession, it is called by Schick. High stick here. Yeah. Chick up. is going over to check Juno. This could be a five. Well, Joe has been hit so many times in the, the mouth area. Well, he got away from Graham, too. Beat him going in for the shot on Balfour coming in on the left wing. Graham may get four out of this. He doesn't get the five. Well, Schick wants... Wants uh, the Chicago bench to see that he's not just whistling Dixie. That may be the five. There's blood. Yep. That's five. Oh, Sutter. Daryl Sutter hanging over the bench and uh, looking. Five for Graham. Oh, now Graham's gone. He gets the night.
Derek Graham does not want to go. Give him a misconduct, then. He already pointed once. Go. Adios. Captain or not. Chick says, I, there's nothing I can do about it. It's automatic. He was cut. I don't know what Chicago's complaining about in that department. Here's Dirk Graham. There it is. There's the reach around. There's the clip no. under the eye. Nose and eye. Jeez. Got him good. And the faceoff to the right of uh, Balfour, a five-minute major, and of course Chicago's had their opportunities. You know, you know what's insult to injury? The guy you cut in hockey right back up. Oh, yeah. He's the one to get wrapped in the mouth, in the nose area, bleeding. Stop the bleeding and back out you go. And what's really fitting is if his Juno could score one. Well, Brian Sutter's club withstood a five-minute major in the first period. Now Daryl Sutter's club has to do the same to maintain a 4-3 lead with 17-28 left to go in regulation. Well, one thing about the Blackhawks, their penalty killers are well-rested. You got to watch out Steve Larmer and Ronick when they get out there with Chelios, good playmaker, Sutter, hard worker. You got to watch Larmer because if he gets loose, a devastating goal scorer. Brent Sutter is still arguing the case, and he uh, doesn't wear an A or a C. Well, you can give him delay a game. That'll straighten that situation out real quick. Four forwards on. Oates is the point man. You know, the Bartolov, Leach. And the draw one for Smith. He's able to clear it. Boston on a power play, clearly. Ray Bork winding up. Larmer right on top of him. Now Kvartalov winding up. He is checked in the play by Sutter. Well, Juno will try it. Watch it. Ray Bork checked by Chelios and that effectively broke up the play. Hey, but Steve Leach was gone on the right side of Bork. Had him just been able to see him. It's up for Steve Leach on the right wing side over the line. Kvartalov drops it off for Juno. Back for Kvartalov. Back to the right point to Oates. Oates quickly to Bork. He's in the middle. Now uh, Kvartala tried to pass it off. And might well have taken a shot. His body was not. One thing Kvartala does very well, when his body, when he sets up for the one-timer, his body's adjusted properly, he would have shot that. His body was facing more the point man, so he tried to make the play. We be pressing a little bit on the power play. Of course, this is the second meeting of the brothers. The first took place at the Garden in October. This is not, however, the first brother versus brother coaching match. As you can see, there have been plenty more before them. And the puck into the corner. Panaleo hustles in on the play. Round three, a jam up, a whistle, and a face off. Fred, you must be able to remember the Patricks going against each other. Buzz Patrick and Lynn Patrick, of course. Buzz with the New York Rangers, Lynn with the Boston Bruins. There will be... I played for Johnny Wilson. Did you really? In Pittsburgh, great guy. Razichka, Reed, and Pantaleoff. Pantaleoff in the corner. Razichka, the shot, the save, and Balfour able to tie it up. Razichka put it on, though, and that is the first shot on the power play. And a minute gone by now on the major against Graham, and he's been tossed out of the game in the first period. Featherstone of Boston was tossed out on a five-minute major. First, you big thing about Derek Graham getting the heave-ho on the five-minute major. Derek, it takes the premier penalty killer out of the game. Derek Graham is a consummate captain. He is Ray Bork type. Draw back for Bork. Bork. Feeds it in. Chelios is there. Round the board. Bork able to keep it in again. Now Reed hit by Chelios. Smith is able to drive it out. Bruins trailed four to three, four minutes into the third period. Deep four checking by Chicago. As they move right through the Boston men and Bork able to come out. Ronick after him. He's driving it in. Ricochets around the corner. Bruins are held up. Panaleo gets it. Panaleo. Back for Bork. Bork by one man. 
All the way across for Oates. Oates for Pat Lamp in front. Block. And a breakaway by Ronick. Ronick coming alone shorthanded. He scores! Ronick makes it by the three. Grisha Penelayup right now feels like a man on an island, Derek. He had it teed up in the slot, couldn't pull the trigger, and everybody was caught up close. Right Once there. Penelayup gets slashed, then he reacts to it. There's the problem. The two-point men are deep. Boats and Bork. Rona comes in with a great move Rona puts on him. There goes the poke jack. Rona stops. Goes the other way. 24 square feet. It's no problem. Great move. And now the Bruins have to score, and Leach is over the line. Leach is closing. Can't get the shot away. Digs in hard. Bruins are still on the power play. And puck kept in by Adam Oates at the point. Dugout bounces across. Back call off on Chelios. He's able to clear it. Rodick. Getting the score to make it 5-3, to three, a shorthanded goal. Bruins had one earlier by Oates. Another bid here as Chicago Gilbert moves it around the boards in the Boston zone. Bruins try to come out, and they do. Leach with it. Over the line, off for Oates. Oates moving in, pass across to Juno. And a shot missed the net. Beautifully set up. 30 feet away, Joey Juno from Oates. Power play continues, and the Bruins down by two. Wesley on the boards now for Oates. Oates trying to come out. Chicago very effective on that deep four checking. Now Kamar Tola coming up over the line. Trying to move in. Dallas. High shot. Flip backhander. He was in too tight and close as he got control. March went with it. Around the board. Stopped by Oates. Oates in for Kamar Tola. To Leach. Leach checked. You know, trying to get it. Leach does. Puts it in front. Blocked by Balfour as he came off from behind the net. Oates keeps it in. Kvartola for Juno. Juno looking for Wesley. Wesley didn't get the pass. And the puck is clear. 1.30 left on the major against Chicago. Bruins break. Bork over the line. Bork holding. Right point. Still holding. Now for one time by Shaw. Broke a stick. Rolls and Oaks couldn't get it. It is back for Bork. Bork fires and it's deflected by Rutu in the stands. And it is Chicago 5, Boston 3 back in a moment on this. Because the sitter doesn't take credit cards. When you're out of town and out of money. When you just don't want to use a credit card, the Fleet 24 Select Card. Use it like a check at stores and restaurants worldwide. Or to get cash at thousands of ATM locations across the Northeast. Fleet 24 Select Card only from Fleet Bank. The card that can make a difference for you. Buongiorno, signore. Bill is back <laughs> in his funniest movie ever. Don't drive angry. Groundhog Day is a comedy classic. Bang! It's pure fun from beginning to end. This is Bill Murray's sweetest, <laughs> wisest, funniest, best movie to date. What? It's impossible not to laugh. Bill Murray, Groundhog Day, rated PG, at Theaters Friday. And back to Oates. Is it your brother to stick? Is cleared out. Lou comes way up to clear it into center ice. And the face off is two line offside. 101 left on the penalty against Graham, the major. 1329 left here in the third period. 5 to 3 Chicago. A big score, shorthanded by Jeremy Ronan. Well, they tried the experiment with Adam Oates, trying to get things going on the power play, using him on the point, and you risk that possibility when you put a forward back there, shorthanded goals against. I think it brings a little more offense to the table. Brzezicka on the faceoff. Juno and Reed on the wings. That's back for Oates. For Ray Bork. 
Reed trying to come out. Or checking by Roenick is tough. You know why they have Trying to find an opening. There is none. Ray Bork with it now. Able to drive it in on the left wing boards. Smith, check. Able to drive it right out. 30 seconds left on the major. And just a couple of shots by Boston. Reed trying to get it to Rizicka in front. Can't do it. Broken up by Chelios. And in the center ice, it is Mato. Stop. 15 seconds left on the power play. This pass to Oates is clearly a two-liner offside from Juno. 13 seconds left. While 41 left in the period. Well, Adam Oates is a little bit frustrated. Jeremy Roenick and the Blackhawks have to feel quite pleased with the situation. Five-minute major against with a 4-3 lead. Instead of losing that lead, they've increased it to 5-3. Ronick with the shorthanded goal. That's You're right, Derek. He plays it awfully physical for a, a guy that is, well, really a, a, a finesse player by design, but he has the abilities to use a little muscle, maybe too much so. Tough kid. He's only 175 pounds, but he's got tremendous balance. That's what makes him a good hitter. And Dave Shaw with it now. And the power play just about up. Wesley against the four-checking of Lama winding up. Get it back in the center ice. He lost it. Lama gets it. And the power play is up. Hulin trying to break. Can't. It's up for Hines. He can't get control. March went with it. Around the boards now. Not out. Tipped in. A three a deflection by Hulin and a save by Belfour. Here's a chance for Hines and the shot is blocked in front. And the breakout. By Chicago's Crimson, who hasn't played very much. He's out there now. And Chicago has the two-goal lead. And a hit by Crimson on Shaw. The Bruins get it. Get it over the line. Pantaleo in deep. Cuts in front. Tried another dribble. Lost it. Able to chase it and keep it in. But he didn't get the shot on for all his hard work. Trying to set himself into a perfect area. Instead of taking the good option shot earlier than that. It is Chicago 5, Boston 3, back in a moment on this. With each new day, you find a way to be your best. Gillette Sensor for the closest safest shave ever. You know you got to be a little better than the rest. Only Sensor has spring-mounted twin blades that adjust to every detail of every face. Gillette Sensor. And now there's Gillette Aftershave Skin Conditioner. It moisturizes so your face feels comfortable all day. Gillette, the best a man can get. Washington chopped down a cherry tree and Lincoln cut logs for a cabin. So just in time for President's Day, we're making some cuts of our own. Now through Saturday, Leachmere's chopping the prices on hundreds of items throughout the store. All audio, VCRs, and fax machines. All camcorders, Kodak film, and furniture. All fitness gear, lighting, and more. All with Leachmere's 110% price guarantee. So hurry in now through Saturday for Leachmere's President's Week sale. Because this Saturday night, the chopping spree is over. Period. 11.30 left, 5-3 to three Chicago. Bruins with just four shots despite that major penalty against Graham in Chicago. Puck is back now for Roberts. His shot in, save Balfour. Rebound, knocked wide. Into the corner, C.J. Young. Going for it. Goulet. Don Sweeney and Chicago has it. Runner breaks it out with Lama and Goulet. For Goulet, pass across. Hits Hughes. Hughes is going out. Another penalty against Boston. Hughes out. 11.06 left. Third period. The shots, as we said, uh, for Boston. Not too many in this the third period. They're up to five. Chicago with one, and that was the breakout by Roenick, and he scored shorthanded. Ross Bentley Hughes. Two minutes for holding it. 54. Hey, there's the interference in front of the net. 
buried him pretty good. Eighth power play, including a major for Chicago. The Bruins have uh, three power plays, including a major. Adam Oates, a shorthanded goal for Boston, matched by Jeremy Roenick with a big one for Chicago. Smith able to clear it in. Got it around the boards. Roenick is able to keep it in. Back for Chelios, the shot blocked. Reed with it. Reed with Poulin. Poulin collects over the line. Trying to set a play shorthanded. Chelios battling him. Down goes Chelios and Poulin. Around the board, Smith able to get it. It's checked by Reed. And Chelios starts it out now in the power play for Chicago. He scored a power play goal. Drives it in and Blue drives it right out. All the way to Belfort. 20 left on the power play, 5-3 to three Chicago. This one is blocked to the breakout. Up ahead comes Adam Oates, shorthanded. Pulled down on the play. The follow-up. And the Bruins miss the chance there. A hooking call. Is it a penalty shot? Chelios goes. No, they won't call a penalty shot. He wasn't clear to the net. But I'd like to see the rules of a penalty shot be a little more liberal. I think it's one of the most exciting things in hockey. Adam Oates tries to protect the puck with his body pretty well. Right here he goes in, hopes that Chelios won't haul him down. Ray Bork just couldn't get by. Smith happened to be on the wrong side, as you know. Fired it in. Misfired there. Misfired had another it. chance. Yeah, yeah. Didn't get good wood on it. Had a whole net to hit. So, for a minute six, it'll be four on four. Then the Bruins on a power play again. 10-12 left here. Third period, 5-3 Chicago. For the Bruins, Dave Poulin, Steve Leach, Adam Oates, their goal scorers. Juno on the draw to the right of Ed Balfour. Gets it back, but it goes outside the line. Ray Bork with Matto right on top of him, forcing Bork behind the net. Great deep forechecking by Chicago. And out comes Juno. Juno pass across. Block. Two line outside there. Got away with it. Cleared away by Sutter. Bork. Out to Oates. Matto plunges into Bork. And a panel goes out. I tell you, Chicago has been hitting. So we're going to have a delay here with 9.39 left in the third period. Matto belting Ray Bork deep off to the right of John Blue. There's another panel that's uh, loose down in that area. In fact, you know, Turk, looks like the stanchion came off completely. Yeah. Looking at the way the glass is constructed, the everything kind of bends to the outside a little bit at both ends. The glass isn't straight up and down. It kind of tilts just a little bit. So one, you got a good chance of knocking something loose with a heavy hit, but also when you try to clear pucks around the glass, it's already beveled out. The right angle, those pucks around you, your goaltender could end up with a uh, delay a game without much difficulty. After tonight, the Bruins will remain on the road for 10 more days, and that means there are three games left on this trip. Tampa coming up, Montreal and Toronto, the tail end, they all can be seen on WSBK. The Bees will then return home to the Garden in Tennessee on February 25th when they host the Minnesota North Stars. Digest will start tonight, that is the Bees and Stars, Thursday, February 25th, live at 7.30. All right, a man on an island. Got the jacket. He's a hearty soul. I wonder if that's an Apex One jacket. A new hot item out there. And the draw is back to Keith Brown. Chelios in the penalty box. In 30 seconds of power play for Boston as they trail by two. This one deflects into the stands. The goal scorers for Chicago, Graham in the first period. In the second period, Brown, then Larmer. That was a 3-1 lead. Bruins came back. Leach and Oates scoring. Oates short-handed. 
The Bruins had only four shots in the second period and scored three goals. Then Chelios, before the period closed out, power play goal for Chicago and Ronan shorthanded. That was a big goal by Chelios. Bruins had come back, fought hard, tied it up. In 24 seconds, Hughes will be out. Oates and Juno out there. Ray Bork with Wesley. Four on four. Bork to center ice. A flip for Juno, blocked, but kept in by Bork at the line. Right in for Wesley. Wesley never got control for the shot. Ray Bork flipped it through the defense. Looked like a clean break in for Wesley. And it's a power play. Boston now. Hughes replaced in the corner. Puck dug out. Kept in by Bork at the line. Bork. Wesley. Broken up. And it's cleared away by Gilbert. 35 seconds left on the Boston power play. Gillen started out. Juno. Long one for Oates. Oates over the line. Flips it through. Wesley is checked on the play by Rutu. Beautiful defensive work by Rutu there. And power play almost up. Chelios ready to come out. Up the right side. The linesman got just blocked Kvartala. And the puck rolls for Rutu. And Rutu breaks it out. Over the line. Short-handed. The play is offside. Yeah, he slammed that away. He could pick up a penalty for that. I thought Steve Smith might pick up a penalty. He had the butt end of his stick out around Kvartalnov. Kvartalnov tried to beat him on the outside. And also beat the linesman. Yeah. Then he ran into the line. Watch Steve Smith's stick. Watch the butt end come out. Just catch Kvartalnov in the chest. There's the butt end of the stick still sticking out. And only four seconds left on Chelios' penalty. 8-16 left here, third period. 5-3 Chicago. The total shots are 25 for the Hawks, 19 for the Bruins. And the draw is back to Smith, and he's able to keep control. Wave off the icing. Back for Roberts. Full strength, Chicago now. Roberts clears it out. Chelios right there to flip it back in. Chicago in defensive mode now. He's... And this pass up Smith here to Goulet is offside. Hawks five, Bruins three back in a moment on Nesson. is your ticket to Big East basketball all season long and our coverage continues this Saturday night as National Power Seton Hall heads down the Jersey Turnpike to take on Villanova. So tune in Saturday night at 8 for live Big East basketball. The Pirates and the Wildcats on Nesson, your ticket to the best in college hoops. You're about to see an amazing detergent at work. Just look for the big red O. Drive in... Fill up with Mobile Super Unleaded Plus, and it starts working. Unclogging fuel injectors, cleaning intake valves as you drive, giving your car performance that's trouble-free. So drive your engine clean with Mobile Super Unleaded Plus, the detergent gasoline. And the draw is back to uh, Roberts. Roberts with Sutter for checking. They get those checkers in there, making it tough to come out. Finally, when they do, Chicago able to get back. March one gets it behind the net. Moves it up and they get it to center ice. Bat it away. Noonan can't get it. Now with it, Leach. Leach for Rozicka. Trying to cut in. He's hit. Check. Centers it. And Chicago back to cover. March one tripped by Kavatala. Allowed to handle the puck. Gets back up now. Checked by Kavatala, who drops it back for Shaw. Shaw for Roberts. That in. Leach. Trying to make the play. He has one of the three goals for the Bruins. Now to Roberts. Roberts. Rizicka. Shot. Swide by Kvartala. Great chance. Cutting in there. Beautiful feed. Rizicka checking Sutter. Leach now. Oh, 
Come on, that's a little obvious. Sutter able to handle it and make a hand pass. <laughs> Closed his hand down in a couple of seconds. Good start again. Broken up by Steve Smith, who clears it away. Hines is checked. John Sweeney rushes. Can't be set up on this one. And no icing, they say. Coolin back for Bork. Shot wide of the net. Smith had a layoff go in the corner. Hines there, too. Smith had a layoff. 6.08 left. Third period. 5-3 to three Chicago. And in deep. Penalty coming up here. Don Boston. Don Boston. Well, I can't figure that one. Over the line, here comes Lemieux. Can't set up Rhoda. And it is called. 5.46 left. Another penalty against the Bruins. About three games and four nights, maybe a little fatigue. After the All-Star break, three days off. Boston Bentley, number 19, Dave Bullen. Bruins maybe a little slow of foot. Now taking the 14. stick, the clutch and grab and hold. I thought he was going to get Steve Smith so did I. taking down Penelea from behind. So did I. And the place off coming up to the left of John Blue. The total shots 25 to 19 for Chicago, meaning Hawks have just two in this period, but one of them that big shorthanded goal by Jeremy Rowan. That shorthanded goal was a backbreaker. It allows the Blackhawks to sit back. Well, especially when Ben Leia was all set up in the slot, Derek, to pull the trigger on a goal yeah. that would tie the hockey game up. Yeah. Here it goes sometimes. Still enough time to get to put some pressure on the Hawks. They might tighten up a little bit if you can get one. Back for Chelios. He unloads its block. Wesley gonna slam it out. Does. And my first crab check. Boy, most of this period has been Chelios and Smith. Except when Chelios was in the penalty box. Chelios is out there now. Still, and Ronick with it. Chelios can't clear it out. They keep circling in their zone as the Bruins for check. Oates there. Steal by Reed on Chelios. For Oates. Oates for Wesley. The shot is blocked. Reed able to keep it in. Short-handed. In for Oates. He's in. Puck. And a penalty coming up on Chicago. A hooking call. Oates was almost in for another short-handed goal. And he was hooked. Boy, did the Hawks look thoroughly Great. disorganized on that. And most of it was because of the tenacious checking by Reed. Blackhawk what a stick slamming going on tonight. Well, how far can Chicago go playing Chelios? I watched some of their games. Right here, he Dave Reed. 40 minutes. Dave Reed feeds it down low. There he is all alone. There's the hook. Oh, that was a good penalty. Caught him on the hip, just wouldn't allow him that one little, little step to get good control on the puck. Shelly always has played a lot. Looks like Al Pacino. Boy, Adam Oates has been all over the place tonight. Very well. And now it's a four on four for a minute 13, and Poulin will be out. 4.59 left, third period. Chicago leads it five to three. And Brian Sutter sends out Bork, Don Sweeney, to Bartoloff, as you know, up front. Chris Chelios stays there. He doesn't even go near the bench. He's like the goaltender, he's just going to be on the ice. He's on with Smith now. The draw to Smith. Smith holds it. The Bruins check. Chelios with it, keeping it away. Kovatolov gets it to Juno, though, as they check it. Juno for Kovatolov, wheeling in the zone. Cross for Don Sweeney, the pass up block. Kept in now by Bork. Checked on the play. Bruins right on top of the Hawks. The Hawks get it away for Mato. Chelios, they're just trying to hit the open man and finally get it free, and they do. In the center ice, it is. Rutu over the line, holding. 
Chicago. On it, Keith Brown. Closing. Shooting. Oh, a beautiful save by John Blue. Left glove lashed out on a short side bid by Keith Brown. That's only the third Blackhawk shot of the period. Jeremy Roenick had the first. Then it was a while. Well, they got another one and then this one. That might have been labeled, too. Ooh, nice catch. Great shot. Bruins gave up only two shots to the Penguins in the third period Monday night. Of course, Penguins were thinking a little bit more for technic a 4-0 lead. Oh, yeah. But in St. Louis, with the Blues having to open things up, the Bruins only gave them two shots in the third period on Tuesday night. And the draw to Roberts, still a four on four, 26 seconds. Is that Ronick all over the ice, four checking, slowing the Bruins down, trying to come out. Up for Shaw. Shaw is checked. Gets away and then is stopped by Marchman. Juno winding up. Bruins struggling to work it up the ice. Juno is checked in the play by Marchman. Marchman gets the puck. For Brown. Oh, listen, they're playing now without Chelios and doing very well. And now the power play. 40 seconds left. 3.39 left in the third period. Bruins trail 5-3. Bruins, the forwards have got to come back a little deeper. That's what they're having some difficulty. And over the line, Bork breaking in. Drops it off for Oates. Oates stick handles in. Can't put it in front. Blocked by who else? Chris Chelios. Boy, the man was open in front was Ishka. Back comes Bork. Power play almost up for Oates. Oates checked by Chelios. Kept in by Rizitska. Back for Bork. Bork fires. Save Balfour. Chelios able to clear it. John Blue quickly out. Moves it up. Wesley able to clear it in. Balfour way out of the net. Gets it to Chelios. And he clears it out now on the left wing side for Mattel. Mattel's pass stopped by Don Sweeney. And we have 2.42 left. Sutter able to keep it in. Back for a shot here by Kuchera. Wide. Kept in. Behind the net. Noonan in front. And the score by Sutter. Sutter from Noonan makes it 6 to 3 with 2.29 left. to Chicago Stadium. Nice play by Brian Noonan. Right on the tape. Sutter just banged it home. There's a dive right there by Cabal Kalnoff. Not very many people in this league block shots by diving at them. Face first. Ends up going behind the net. Bork's tied up with his man. Sweeney has to crisscross. Poulin can't get to Sutter. Nice job by Brent Sutter, by too, to shake Dave Poulin's check. Assisted by number 10, Brian Noonan. Number 32, Stefan Matteau. Matteau and uh, Noonan get the assists on that one. And the draw start back, but it is Hughes losing. Trap check, can't clear it. Kept in now by C.J. Young. 2-12 left. And uh, Chicago coming through to expand their lead. Trying to come out now. It is Kuchera. Taps it around the board. Stopped by Shaw. Shot saved by Balfour with Kimball right there. Looking for it. It is Chicago 6, Boston 3. Back in a moment on Nessie. Oh, yeah. Consider the interest you're paying on your credit card. Thanks to Smart Rate from the Discover Card, there's a chance to go lower. Now, the more you choose the Discover Card when making purchases, the lower your rate can go. And since there's still no annual fee, that's a whole new bottom line. Smart Rate, as low as 14.9%. It pays to Discover. The card that pays you back. This is how people used to ski. And this is how they used to pay for it. Skiing's come a long way. And so is the way you pay for it. The Fleet 24 Select Card. Looks like a credit card and works like a check. Out on the slopes or out on the town. The Fleet 24 Select Card. 
definitely not old-fashioned. And we have 1.55 left in the game, 6-3 Chicago. Juno on the draw, back for Shaw. Shot deflected wide, Juno trying to put it in front. Goes around for Hines, Hines trying to wheel in front, loses, and Dave Christian is going to play the shift or two, moves it out. Shaw able to clear. Back for it goes Keith Brown. Total shots are 27 for the Hawks, 21 for Boston. And the Bruins battle back, tied it up in that second period with three goals, but Chelios power play, Ronak short-handed. And a big one by Sutter here, set up by Newman. In the corner, pass goes back to the point for Brown. Marchman. Break out here by Juno, three on two for the moment. He's over the line with Hines. Trying to make the play in front for Leach. One Leach gets it. Shoots, blocked. Leach can't get the loose puck. And it's cleared away by Markman. And less than a minute left here. Tom Sweeney trying to come out. He was checked. Goes to Blue. Around the boards. Kept in by Ronick. Now the Bruins get it, tap it out. And time running out. Back in the Boston zone, it picked up by Ron Sweeney. Checked in the play. Hawks keep it in. Rona, pass across. Deflected wide of the net. Bruins clear it out. 12 seconds left. Lay coming back. Play broken up by Don Sweeney. Hughes with it. And that's it. A long shot in is wide of Belfour. The game is over. And the Hawks with the victory. Out shooting Boston 27 to 21. And the Bruins uh, late in the second and tied it up. But Chicago went ahead and in the third period added two more goals. The final score, Chicago 6 and Boston 3. We'll have the summary on Nesson in a minute. Shots on goal in the final period.